Has Germany caused its own issues with Russia by appeasement? That's what many people think. And right now, Russia is limiting the supply of gas again into Germany. What it's doing is it's cutting back supply. And that, of course, is vital to Germany. Germany's energy, 25% of it, comes from gas. And Russia is the main supplier. It comes, perhaps, as certainly people believe, from a policy of appeasement. What's happened is all the way back to Merkel, Germany has appeased Russia. It's allowed its trade to go on. In fact, it's encouraged it. Okay, well, after the same time, Russia believes that it's a strong nation. And as a strong nation, it doesn't actually respect appeasement. Right now, we see Germany promising arms, promising weapons to Ukraine, but actually delivering far less than it promised. Okay, is this policy of appeasement really working out? Germany is attempting to sit on the fence, perhaps. And if it sits on the fence, what's going to happen? Right now, it's Russia that's turning the screws in, and the German economy confidence has gone down. Business confidence has gone down to the lowest level that it's been for many, many years. And of course, as we go towards the winter months, Russia can turn the screw harder. How will Germany react? Will it react with more appeasement or will it actually decide that it needs to be aggressive in finding new energy supplies? It shut down most of its nuclear supplies in the end of last year. Okay, of course, opening those again is complicated, but will they be aggressive in finding other energy supplies? And will they be more aggressive with Russia or will they hope they can appease them and somehow persuade them to again supply them without causing problems to the sanctions and the attitude of the world. The world looks at it and Germany's saying lots, but the world also realise Germany's doing less than it says. So by this attitude, okay, is it actually doing itself any good? Okay, it's a controversial subject. It's an interesting subject. And of course, Germany is the powerhouse of Europe. And that in turn has meant the euro has fallen. Indeed, Europe is seen as having more problems with a recession than America. Europe can cut employment as quickly and adapt as quickly as indeed America can. Will this Russian situation actually cause a whole of Europe an issue? simply and solely because it's not been dealt with in the past as aggressively as perhaps it should be. Or do you think it shouldn't be aggressive? Do you think there's an alternative that really will work in this situation? It's driving the economy, so it's driving a big part of the world's economy. Important to actually understand the information. I'll put it out on a day-to-day -day basis. So hit subscribe, please like, please share the video. It helps me with the algorithm and get out more information so you can make decisions on what you do with your investments and understand what's going on in the world in short, sharp, concise material. Please hit subscribe, please like, please share the video.